Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dawn and in today's video I am going to be doing my August wrap up and my September TBR. So I have a few books that I want to talk about today. So if you like this sort of content, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to let me know that you want to see more of my face, comment, anything that you want, what you're reading, what you've read. If you've read any of these, let a girl know. So let's get into it. So the first book that I read in the month of August was The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. And did I enjoy this book? Yes, I did. I'd probably say I'd give this book a four out of five stars. Um, just kind of like how the ending wrapped up and how everything came to like a head was kind of weird to me. Um, but I did like the dynamic between the two characters. If you do not know what this book is about, it is about um, two like their like radio producer host and pretty much their radio show is dying and they need to come up with a new way to like revive like their listeners like the views whatever you want to call it and so one of the main characters kind of throws it out there like oh what if we did a segment called the x talk you know what i mean and so it ends up becoming a thing but the thing is the two characters the two main characters in the book they've never dated um, they don't like each other and they have to pretend that they were exes. So that is where the plot thickens um, because of course their listeners, their viewers cannot know that they never dated. So yeah, but I liked it a lot. Alrighty friends, so the first book that I read in the month of August, I read The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon and pretty much the gist of this book is that two co-workers that work in this radio station ended up like co-hosting the show the x talk but here's the plot here's the gist here's the little caveat they hate each other in real life um they've never dated and they've never been exes so yeah i mean you know what could go wrong i did enjoy this book i would give it a four out of five stars the only thing about it is like the way that everything ended up wrapping up i kind of was just like Mm, it could have been just a little bit better but everything up into that I really enjoyed so yeah I recommend it if you want a cute romance novel um so yeah I enjoyed it a lot the next book that I read is The Wife Upstairs and this one is by Rachel Hawkins and I would give this book a four out of five stars too just because there is a few things that I kind of feel like towards the end of the book um you don't the just not don't make sense but they kind of don't make sense I feel like you don't I don't want to spoil it but if you've read this book then you know you're just like right um but the way this book wrapped up I did like how it was kind of more so of an open-ended maybe so maybe no but I feel like when you find out who actually did the dirt in this book you're just like the rest of the world doesn't know this like everybody they're suspecting isn't the one who did it so you're just kind of like the rest of the world needs to know this and it's just like their world may never know um so that's the kind of ending that this book kind of has um but i thoroughly enjoyed it i'd say once you get to page 50 that's when the plot really thickens um but i guess i should explain what this book is about pretty much this girl named jane ends up moving to birmingham alabama and she is broke and she's not who she says she is but she meets this really rich wealthy man and she's like i need to be with him i want to be with him because she wants to fit into this high society kind of world and then she learns that you know he had a wife and there she was in an accident but this wife just too many things keep coming up about this lady so there's a whole mystery around the wife's death and things of that nature so yeah anyway but i enjoyed this i've heard a lot of people like have really mixed reviews and yes i do understand the problematic issues but overall i think that it's a really amazing thriller and plot twist book i just wish like the last 50 to 60 pages weren't as rushed because it would have been really nice to kind of see just a little bit more of that written out thoroughly if that makes sense but i really did enjoy the book and i would read it again i would recommend it to anyone who likes kind of thriller books so the wife upstairs. 
All right, so moving on to my TBR. I don't know if I wanna, I'm going to get to all of these, but there is three that I'm going to read for sure, and those are the thrillers. So let's just go with the non-thriller, and this one is Throttled by Lauren Asher. I don't know if I've ever read anything from her, um, but pretty much it is about a Formula One like legend and then this girl who it's pretty much like a forbidden relationship so we'll we'll see all the the dirty secrets and all the dirty laundry i'm sure in this book so i really don't know too much about it but it seems like a great romance novel um a forbidden love story for when i need something real sweet in my life so i feel like this will be a really amazing book to read and um, if you don't know me, I do like Formula One racing. I personally prefer Formula Drift, but like drifting, but anyway, this is Formula One racing. So anyway, here it is. Yeah. So this is Throttle by Lauren Asher. Like I said, I don't know much about this, but I saw it on Amazon and I was just like, eh, let's check it out. Okay, so this next one I'm actually reading, and this is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I've never read any of his books before, but I heard he is the person to read thrillers from. So I'm so, so excited to finish this one. I'm about 40 pages in or so, and so far it's been really good, really good. Um, so The House Across the Lake is pretty much about this girl, Casey, well, this woman, Casey. Um, there's her neighbor's house is across the lake and when she sees the neighbor um, one of the neighbors that lives at that house like drowning she like strikes up a conversation with her because she saves the girl and um, then she starts to see that like not everything is as it seems with this lady and her husband's marriage across the lake and then the lady vanishes also all of this information is on the front cover so I'm not spoiling anything like that but secrets start to come out more information starts to come out and it's just like a whirlwind of all the things so i cannot wait to really get into this and i cannot wait to continue to read riley sager i'll probably pick up a few more of his books during the month um because it is spooky season and i want to read all the mystery and thrillery things so i cannot wait to really immerse myself in this one so i'm so excited this one was, was an accidental purchase, but I was looking at this one on Amazon and my mom checked out the Amazon cart, so I ended up getting it. And this is Such a Quiet Place by Megan Miranda. Um, so I'm just going to read the back of this one because I don't really remember what this one was all about, but I kind of do, but I kind of don't. It says this, Welcome to Hollow's Edge, where you can find secret scandal and a suspected killer all on one street. Hollow's Edge used to be a quiet place, but then came the murder of Brandon and Fiona Truitt. A year and a half later, Hollow's Edge is simmering. The residents are trapped by the trial of one of their own, Ruby Fletcher. With her conviction overturned, Ruby waltzes right back to Hollow's Edge and into the home she shared with her friend Harper Nash. Harper has always treated Ruby like a wayward younger sister, but now she's terrified. What good could come from Ruby returning to the scene of the crime, and how can Harper possibly turn her away when she knows Ruby has nowhere to go? As suspicion spreads, it's increasingly clear that not everyone told the truth about the night of the Truett's murders. When Harper begins receiving threatening notes, she realizes she has to uncover the truth before someone else becomes the killer's next victim. So, like I said, it sounds pretty interesting. I've never read anything from Megan Miranda, and I'm really just now starting to get into thrillers, so I've been watching thriller recommendation videos, so if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comment section below so yeah anyway um so i feel like this is going to be a pretty fast read there's only 320 or so pages so i feel like i'll be able to read this pretty quickly um so i'm super excited about this one as well and then the last book that i want to read is the next and final book on my TBR for this month is The It Girl by Ruth Ware, and I'll just read the inside of the cover to you as well because I feel like it's just easier that way. Um, so April Clark Cliveden was the first person Hannah Jones met at Oxford. Vivacious, bright, occasionally vicious, and the ultimate it girl, she quickly pulled Hannah into her dazzling orbit. Together they cultivated a group of devoted, inseparable friends, Will, Hugh, Ryan, and Emily during their first term. By the end of the year, April was dead. 
Now, a decade later, Hannah and Will are expecting their first child and the man convicted of killing April, former Oxford porter, John Neville, has, di has died in prison. Hannah is relieved to have finally put the past behind her, but her world is rocked when a young journalist comes knocking and presents new evidence that Neville may have been innocent. As Hannah reconnects with old friends and delves deeper into the mystery of April's death, she realizes that the friends she thought she knew all have something to hide, including a murder. So I've heard kind of like mixed reviews. I've heard some people like didn't really like this book. I'm not sure. Um, but I got this one from um, someone else's book haul. So I was like, mm, sounds interesting. So I picked it up at Target and I cannot wait to read it. So this one's going to be a longer one though, I can tell. Yeah, this one's was like 420 pages or so so i don't know it's it's a thickums but i'm interested to, to read it um i haven't read anything from any of these authors um before so i'm super excited to read some new stuff so these are the books that i've picked and hopefully i'm able to get through them all but um, I ended up getting a second job, so hopefully I will have some free time, more free time to really read and do things of that nature. But yeah, if you guys like this sort of content, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Leave your recommendations if you read any of these things. And as always, love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.